Technicians have long used the standing pressure or standing hold test to check for leaks in the system. Just add a bit of refrigerant and between 100 and 150 PSI of nitrogen to your system and let it sit a while. If the pressure holds, you don't have a leak. If it drops, you do. And because refrigerant is in the system, you can search for it with a refrigerant leak detector. However, the laws and regulations around refrigerants have been changing the last few years. From the types of refrigerants used in systems to the use of refrigerants for system testing. Hi, it's Paul again. Did you know many countries now ban the use of refrigerants to test for system leaks? That's where hydrogen tracer gas and the Yellow Jacket H2 detector come into play. Hydrogen tracer gas is a mixture of 95% nitrogen and 5% hydrogen which is non-flammable, non-toxic, and safe for the environment. When used with a hydrogen leak detector, like this one from Yellow Jacket, you'll be able to detect hydrogen concentrations of less than five parts per million, allowing you to locate even the smallest of leaks. The tracer gas is charged into an empty system at a pressure of up to, but not exceeding, the rated system test pressure. If there's a leak, the hydrogen will be quickly detected with the H2 detector. No more waiting overnight for the results. And once the source of the leak is located and repaired, the tracer gas can be released safely and legally into the environment, and the system can be recharged again with refrigerant. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.